Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we will study about Oracle Approval Management for Enterprise Asset Management. Let's begin our study. Don't forget like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Now go to Enterprise Asset Management and then go to set up parameters okay now choose the organization and then EAM parameters will appear this is the enterprise asset management parameters look at the work request auto approve and work orders default this is enabled workflow for work orders is checked and then save okay now log out log in by using sysadmin Find the workflow administrator web application, administrator workflow, business event. Find EAM and then go. Search for work order status change pending status has been enabled click on update look at the status choose the enable and then apply yes back into business event look at status work order pending subscription subscription status is enabled this is execution condition status has been enabled next look the review and then apply yes And then log out, log in by user operation. Go to approval management administrator to check the transaction type. Transaction type key, EAM, and then go. Choose the Enterprise Asset Management Work Order Release Approvals. Click on Update. Next, this is just uh, review the transaction type. Next, this is the attribute, mandatory attribute, and this is the transaction type review, and then finish. Okay, now go to Approval Management Business Analyst, Business Analyst Dashboard. And then, find Transaction Type, Transaction Type, AEM, Work Order Release Approval. And then, Attributes. estimate cost update the usage type has dynamic the value is script validate script the query is valid 
apply. We can create the new attribute by click the create button. Define the attribute name, description, choose the data type. This is the data type, which is number. This is type as dynamic or static. If you choose dynamic, you have to define the value query. If you don't choose dynamic or you choose static, you don't have to define the query. Click on condition and create the condition. Find the attribute that we has been created before. EST quick select. Okay, this is the expression. Cost expression is equal to, is greater than or equal to, is greater than, is less than. So we choose to is greater than, no, and less than or equal to, or less than 100,000. We set global condition. Apply. The new condition has been created successfully. Now go to action types. Uh, this is the action type form. Look and the rule type change of authority or the number one ordering mode is serial voting method is serial now go to approval group we create the new approval group by click the create button define the approval group name description order number one voting method in serial this is type static we don't have to fill the query now approval type choose the HR people approval choose the name we set up approval management for single approve single approval stop that then apply okay the approval group has been created successfully now go to rules create new rules by click create button okay Define the role name. And then next, add the condition that has been created before. And the the cost is greater than null and less than 100,000. And next, add the action. The action is require approval from approval group is the new one the last approval group and then next this is the new rule review condition and action type action type cost null and 100,000 and then finish Okay, the Oracle approval management for single approval has been set up and now go to transaction, maintenance super user, vision operation, choose the organization and then go, go to work order 
टाइप क्रिएट वर्क ऑर्डर डिफाइन द एस नंबर choose one quick select and then define the asset activity i'll change go to save work order was successfully created and now release the work order Look at the estimate cost. Twenty-seven, twenty, twenty-seven, twenty, and, and then save the work order. Approval has been sent into approval. The status has been pending. Copy the work order number. Find the work order. Okay. Go to work order details. Look at approval history. In the approval history, we can see the approval name is notified to stock. And go to my work list. Find the approval notification. This one. So just click the approve button. The work order has been approved. This is how Oracle approval management work for single approver. Back into work order to see the status has been updated into release. Okay. Go to approval history. The stock pad has approved the work order on status date. Okay, this is how Oracle approval management set up for single approver. Okay, that's it. How to set up single approval? in the oracle approval management for enterprise asset management okay enough our lesson today we will continue in the next video for how to set up approval for first responder win and thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe our channel See you in the next video and bye-bye.